Today I'm going to be showing you guys a Rust Trio Base design. It takes about 23 rockets to TC. And here's the tour. We got the double airlock with the shotgun trap and drop boxes. Got the research table with the shotgun trap. Breakfast security. Got your first loot room, and you got your second loot room, and you got this garage door going up to roof access, the shooting floor, and roof access above that, and you got the bunker, the armored bunker, and you go through this, you got two more sheet metal doors, and the core which has got the TC and uh, another loot room, with your workbench. And it takes about, I'd say, the initial, once you get TC, it's probably going to be another, another probably 10 rockets to get the rest of the loot. So, um, I guess let's get into building this thing. So I'm going to clear the plot. Start out with a. I'm gonna build it in stone. A one by one, which um, you could do more at the beginning, but I'm just gonna be doing a one by one for minimal cost. Got your starter, starter stuff. Like your tier one, your box. And um, you probably want to expand right away once you can. So um, I'm gonna add the loot room and the rest of the core with the um, with an airlock here. And your three. Metal doors. Um, once you get this expansion down, you can get, you can move your bench and bags, so your main TC of the room can have loot. Got your three bags. Furnaces. Probably should move that bag so I can fit the third furnace. Now you can, um, while you're fixing your loot room, probably place down, place down a single one of these, and start doing your loot room right now. If you don't want barbecues, you don't have to do it, but uh, there's quite a few of them in this design, so it adds a lot of storage. And once you have this down, you can move this. I'll have enough storage to move it into the corner. Second box. This is uh, before you put the shelves on, so it's um. There can be uh, double this once we put the shelves. This is just uh, ease of access. You can easily put down these boxes. Uh, for the shelves. Build so you can put your shelves. And all of the doors in the space design can be picked up, so um, you don't need to pick up any boxes while you're doing this. 
So once you st when you still have double doors, you don't want to add um, the extra boxes in the front because you can't reach them on the top top half of the shelf. So I'm going to place all the boxes for the bottom floor and not for the top until we have garage doors. Now, you see, you can just put two more large boxes. I find putting the small box and the two large boxes a little bit annoying to get one of the large boxes. So I just do it like this. And you can put more small boxes also, but then uh, you have to pick up the door in order to replace it. So I prefer to just do two instead of three. Get rich. You can get rid of your twig buildup. You don't need that anymore. And this is the. This is it for the core. We can now do our first expansion. Maybe not our first expansion, but. Expand. This is the first honeycomb we need. It's gonna be on top of the jump up to the main. We have a twig. I'm gonna have a roof triangle. And then I'm gonna stone for the jump up, and then we have two doors and we cover off and to finish this honeycomb for this one. off the entire second floor. I'm going to be placing a furnace down there for the jump up, because I feel like ladders are not as good as furnaces. second floor and this will probably assume that you don't have a garage door yet and you can just have a double door here for now. I'm making it go inwards so it takes up less space. I'm going to place this loot room. this room. The slit room will be the same as the TC room, so this design is probably not the most box space, but it does have a lot for me still being able to pick up the garage door, or the double door. This loot room, you can either put, you can have, if you have garage door, you can put this, these uh, three extra boxes on the um, second floor as well. If you don't have garage door, just don't place these front ones. It's going to be your first garage door. Gonna be our research table and our, our boxes. And then repair bench. And 
then that's the interior core for this first expansion. That's going to be all the loot rooms in the final design. We have the two in core and the one above. I'm going to switch this to a garage door. Um, if you don't have it, again, just don't have the roof access. Or don't. I don't know what. Just don't. Upgrade it. Now, um, we can have our next floor's entrance here. You could uh, put a double door here. And if you don't have a garage door, you can actually put a double door here. And I'll make it go out. And you could just get rid of this double door. And then you could just use this as the door before it, except you can't have roof access. So next upgrade is the honeycomb. I'll put these garage doors on. I guess I should do this. This is just drop off loot. Shotgun truck. You know, place it while being outside to make it a little easier. You don't need the shotgun truck if you uh, don't have that. So next is the honeycomb. We have one in the front. You skip these two because these already are honeycomb. And the next four are all honeycomb. And you don't do the one right here, because it's already as any come. Um, we could do the second floor. Um, I guess we'll just do both floors. We'll do the roofs on the roof, since that's much easier than having to build up to them. If you're, uh, if you can't fly, <laughs> which you probably can. We got all our honeycomb on. We don't need the second story for that one. And start to we can start upgrading the core. We'll put in this shock and trap for if you have them. Okay, next we upgrade the core. So garage doors if you can. And then you're gonna have to put the points, the furnace in the bag for the scratch there. And then, so you can HQM this core, or you can sheet metal it, depending on what you've got in your wipe. But for the video, I'm just gonna HQM it. be showing the best ways to pick up boxes in order to reach everyone. You have to pick up th you have to pick up the barbecue, the small box, and the large box if you have finished this loot room. And you just have to pick up the large box for this one. And then you've reached everything. You just need to pick up the bag and you can get this entire one. That's your entire core. Next, I'll, I guess I'll replace these boxes. And then we're gonna HQM. Oh, actually, I made a mistake. You have to. The half wall in stone. I guess it could be in wood. But the, the one you have to place the half wall on is above the jump up for the third floor. So, so you can put your bunker down. The bunker works like this. You have your twig, and then your triangle. And you could sheet metal or armor depending on whatever your core is. 
And we're gonna have to upgrade a few more walls to make this core, to make this bunker work perfectly. So we're gonna armor it, and we're gonna finish the rest of the core, rest of the inside of the bunker. So upgrade these three. The floors are. I guess they're optional, but highly recommended. And you need to do this thing as well. I'm gonna go through the bunker. And these two. That's all of the HQM. It's um it's about five hundred in total. So that's that's all of that. Oh the roof here. And then I had to prime with the plot. Okay. Now um the upgrades for the honeycomb. So to make this floor not a weak point, we're gonna upgrade those three. And we're gonna go outside. Upgrade one more. This one's a honeycomb, but it still needs to be upgraded due to it, the fact that it's right next to this armor. So the next upgrades are gonna be sheet metal or sheet metaling the outer honeycomb. The ones you need to upgrade are the bottom floor. You don't need to do the top floor. If you're worried about them being able, people to being able to see the bunker, you could seal it off with the um, with a square foundation and two walls, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. So upgrade this and this. That's the last honeycomb. You want these honeycomb too. Now you've got all your honeycomb upgraded. Um, two more spots. So this is your loot room. So you need to honeycomb this. And you just go for these two. And that's all the honeycomb upgrades. Your base will look like this at this point. Next upgrade will be the shooting floor. You've got almost everything down by now. You could definitely play with this. We're gonna have Make sure that you can... I'm just gonna have as many peek down gaps as I can. Because they're nice. And... Then I'm gonna window off all the rest of it. Access, you add the garage door, or you can get rid of it, but I highly recommend the garage door. I'll put on the, um, the rest of the shooting floor, I'll put on the shooting floor doors and windows, and then you just put another, another jump up for the top floor after this. I'm using vertical embrasures, but you can use whatever you want for these windows. Then you go to the roof, and we have a. We're gonna put a shotgun trap here just in case. You never know. People getting on your roof. And garage door. Now this is. Interior, and that's the rest of the base design. Dang. 
Thank you for watching, and see you next time.